Hey guys, it's Matt Fowler. I'm here to talk to you about the new Hulu series, The Path, specifically why you should check it out. Give it a chance. Uh, it just debuted. Uh, it's launched with two episodes. Now, unlike Netflix, which drops seasons all at once, Hulu spaces them out weekly, just like a normal TV show that we're used to, sort of, before the streaming model. Uh, but there are two episodes you can check out right now. Um, now, The Path comes to us from Friday Night Lights, head writer EP Jason Cadams, and uh, writer uh, Jessica Goldberg, and it's sort of a very cinematic, quiet, meditative series, um, a great drama with some great actors in it. It's got Hannibal's Hugh Dancy, it's got Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul, and it has Michelle Monaghan, who you know from the first season of True Detective, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and a lot of other things, um, and it deals with cult, or as they don't like to call it a cult on the show, it's a movement. Um, and uh, if you're looking for something tonally to compare it to, and this is also not a very highly watched show, but it's a very good show, which you should check out, it's a lot sort of like Sundance's Rectify. Uh, it's very cinematic, like I mentioned. It re doesn't rely on dialogue all the time. It relies on visuals, uh, music, silence, uh, things that you wouldn't see on, say, a, a network procedural. Uh, and what I really liked about it, right from the start, now I've only seen the two episodes, uh, but what I liked is that it wasn't about main characters joining a cult or discovering a cult, when we join the show, these people are already in a cult, and they've been living in a cult for a long time. Um, the husband and wife characters, played by Michelle Monaghan and Aaron Paul, she was brought up in the cult, he discovered the cult later in life, but they found each other, and the sort of the, the twist going into the show is that he is starting to have doubts. He uh, had a uh, sort of an epiphany while away on a retreat, and when he came back, He's sort of a different person, a more closed off person, and she's sort of worried about that. And so she starts confiding in uh, Hugh Dancy's character, who plays Cal, who is um, a true believer of this uh, movement called Meyerism, uh, which is sort of a mishmash of a lot of different cults, you know, a little Scientology here, a little Moonies there. Um, uh, but it's not, meant to, it's not meant to represent any one thing out there. You're going to draw comparisons, you're going to see parallels if you're familiar with any part of this sort of world, but it's sort of a... a um, a big collage of everything. Uh, but Cal, uh, now this is an interesting character for Hugh Dancy to play because easily he's the leader of this, so you got to think villain. Who's the villain of the piece? Where's the adversary? Um, and yeah, he could totally morph into that down the line, but as it starts out, he is the leader. He has a darkness to him, but he also has a very passionate, fervent belief in this movement. Uh, so he's a fully sort of fledged, fleshed out character and not just somebody you would think of as a typical cliche cult leader. Um, and there's nothing really that cliche about this show because what uh, another thing that might draw you to it, if you're put off by the cult theme, which is a unique theme to TV, but uh, some people might, want, not, might not want to watch a show about cults, is that really it's a family drama and it's about people experiencing doubts within their own lives, their belief systems, their family units, and how that can blow their lives apart if it's something that they start having a lot of questions about and how it can affect their spouses and their children and stuff like that. Um, so you can really sort of pull that theme out and put it into any other family drama and it would work. Uh, and that's why it works here. So check out The Path. It's on Hulu. It's going to drop weekly, like I said, and you could read my reviews on the IGN site and check out any uh, news for The Path going forward. Thanks.